Alrighty folks, we are back at it. We are going to get this thing. Well, I hope to get the glass in. Actually, my plan is to get the glass in and we're going to get this body work done. Um, I think the first thing we got to do though is, well, I want to do, uh, we got to get the box cleaned out. I want to run to the barn. I do have a bunch of barn board, <clears throat> like I guess it's barn board. It's what I used in my 37. I think we're going to go strip a bunch of that wood out. Uh, we'll see what we need here and see if we can actually make this this floor like with that wood that'd be kind of nice and zero dollars would be even better in my eyes so we got to do that outside it's starting to warm up today it's our long weekend out here we're doing a little pool party but ooh, hey that's bright so I'm going to go in the barn. I'm going to go grab some stuff. I think right now what I got to do is uh, I just want to free up my trailers. Uh, well, that's not mine, but I picked that up for my dad, his truck. And then I got this car here, this coupe that you haven't seen. And I'm not sure what I'm doing with it yet, but it's there. Uh, but I want to free up my trailers and then I can kind of park them off to the side. I know a couple folks come up with campers, so we want to get that freed up for them. And then uh, we'll go into the barn and we'll start, uh, I think, tear some wood down. Hopefully we can get that to be used with our truck. That would be ideal. Anyways, I'm going to go fire up the loader over there and uh, we'll get her going. All right, we got our roadster out. Finally, it's been a year or two since I've been driving that one. Well, we got us a tailgate. Well, that's not cooperative, so let's try the other side. Ooh, that works good. Mint.
Well, that's good. Well, that is mint. So I cleaned up cars, or cleaned off my trailer, got really hot. Figured I'd go grab this tailgate and see how that works. Works mint. Uh, like it's beat up, but it's just got the right amount of beat up. We just got to, uh, we'll try to see if we can sort of match it to the paint if we can. But yes. All right. Now we got to go back out into the heat and uh, let's get us some, some barn board. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to measure. I got to know how long my boards have to be. I figure I'll grab them. At least I'll have them. I'm going to need a lot of wood, really. Eh, we'll try it. There's lots of wood in the barn. All right. For all you folks asked that, what's in the barn? There's not a lot. I used to store a lot of parts in here. I still have a whole lot over, over yonder, but there's no organization to anything there. A couple snowmobiles, things like that. Uh, other than that, we don't usually store a lot in here. My brother has some tractors over on the other side. But uh, for uh, the most part, it usually gets too humid. And uh, well, it's just not, not great for cars and stuff. So anyways, my plan here is gonna be, because we've already started ripping some down. I've had some friends that wanted it. I feel if somebody actually tries to, like if you open the roof up, you'll get more air movement and the buildings will last longer. It just seems like once you take animals and stuff out of a barn, they don't last very long. You can see here, it's starting to get pretty rotten down on the bottom part. So I might put some beams and just open the wall up. Like eventually when we get the new shop over there, I might be able to open this part up and then maybe if it's completely exposed, we can actually, maybe I can fill the gutters. But in the spring, it actually, there's just water flows through here. So it's uh, kind of hit and miss, but maybe I can park cars in here. I don't know, we'll figure it out for now. All I'm going to do, we've got tons of sawdust and garbage all up here, but I'm just going to start ripping boards off and uh, hopefully I can get enough to uh, do the bed in that truck. It'd be pretty good. This stuff was really nice in my 37, so I'm going to, uh, we'll just keep proceeding along here. We'll start on this side because I don't really care if all the sawdust is sitting on the ground. We can kind of shovel it away later, but anyways, there looks like a good amount of boards over there to start, so I'm going to give her.
Well, I am not going to lie. I thought I had enough boards. I miscalculated it by about four boards. I don't know why. I thought it was just four feet. Should be four feet. I don't know where my tape measure is. But clearly my math was wrong. So, as much as I didn't enjoy that, I'll have to go back, grab at least four more boards, and uh, we'll get this thing stabbed together. I know some of them are kind of wrecky and junky, but I don't know that I'm going to... Well, I guess... See, the straps won't make sense anymore, so I'll probably... Because these are like a... Well, they're a tongue and groove, sort of. I don't know. There where they are. I'll probably pull the straps off, save them, but uh, we'll just kind of get our wood all underneath there. And uh, I don't know. I like the whitewash. I think I liked it a lot in my other truck, but I did sand it off and stain it. I know this stuff is not like good in the water. It'll turn into like a pasty mush, but I don't care. I think it looks great. So I'm just going to leave the white bed like that. We'll just self tap some uh, anchor bolt. Like we'll, we'll screw it to the, uh, the beams there. Although by the looks of it, I got to put a few, we need to put a few anchors in here because there's not a lot of stuff holding the box on. The more I look here. Anyways, uh, I'm going to go back to the barn. I've kind of showed you sort of what it was and I'm just going to get rained on with some sawdust for a little bit. We'll grab a couple more boards quick so at least we can get these cut and just just sitting where they're supposed to. I, uh, I don't have any hardware or nothing to be able to screw them down or anything at this point, so we'll leave it as it is. Like I say, I'll probably get some self-tapping like deck screws or something and just zap into the board there, but all right, well, I'll go to the barn. I'm going to grab that quick and then uh, we'll finish up this part. Well, just so it looks like a box. We got our tailgate on. That was awesome. Uh, it's one of the spare ones we had. I, I got my paint like this Krylon. And man, does it, it really is a close fit to this. Like I just sprayed here and you can probably barely tell where I did it. So that is awesome. I think I got to do it on top of black like it is here. And it'll probably come back out looking close to the same stuff. On white, it's, it gets too bright, so. Anyways, I'm going to go back to the barn quick and then we'll uh, grab a few boards. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. <clears throat> Overall, just the look is fine. We'll have to take the boards off and stuff, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. They're, uh, they're good as they sit. Uh, I guess, let's just do some body work. You know, the more I'm thinking down here, there's very little. I'm gonna put a little bit of glass. We're gonna just, just to seal the welds kind of a thing. We're gonna do a little bit of glass. We're gonna do a very simple sanding. We're gonna leave it just for the look. That were, I don't know, I keep hate, I hate, I hate using that term for the look, but it doesn't need a lot because it's kind of, it is where it is and it looks decent. Same there. We're going to do a little bit, just a little bit of glass. That might be all we need. So we'll have to rough it up, do that. That one I want to do a little bit better, but nothing too crazy. Just to, to suit the overall banged up look of the truck is kind of where I'm going. We'll spend more effort inside. That's what I have to sit and see. So we'll, uh. We'll do a better job in here. Like you can see, we got stuff all prepped up. Well, it isn't, it isn't. We're gonna have to go in there. We're gonna schmooze a little bit of everywhere here and get that all, all prettied up, but... Uh, yeah, then I gotta do that one hinge. I've been pickling it. I want to get it loose. 
Our brakes are all good. We're gonna have to switch out the wheels yet. Might try out the blast cabinet my neighbor gave me just to give it a quick, a quick, see how that works. If I can blast that kind of quick, clean them up more of the inside. I mean, we could wire brush that. I guess the outside, we'll try it out with the sandblaster really quick, see if that comes off. We can give it a dust of paint. Unfortunately, white's probably what it should be, and I don't know that I have any right now. We'll see. We'll see what it got. I know I have lots of black, just because that's usually how I dress everything. Rest converter. I think that's a some kind of a blue. Kernel blue. I don't know. I don't think that's the same. And we don't have the gray. We don't have the color for the inside of the truck, like the dash part. I have to figure out what that is yet because that's essentially what's up there and we're going to blow that in. That's my thought anyways. Again, I don't have much for rattle can here anymore. Black and blue. <laughs> I got nothing white. Oh well. We'll try. We'll see how far we get here. We have our we got a couple cans of Bondo, but I don't see I much need much more than this fine, fine glass, honestly. Oh crap. Do I even have a mixing putty knife? Jeepers. You know what, fellas got to think of every tool they need to do a job. And if you, uh, if you, oh good. Well, I got this. That'll work. Cool. Well, let's rough some stuff up and we'll start on the outside anyways. See where we get.
Well, that went relatively well. Actually, it was without incident. It's not, it's not pretty, but I also have uh, a total of uh, 15 minutes probably doing all the body work. So, and that's just whatever. It looks better than it did. That's all I'm concerned about. So here we got here. So the way this seems to work, and I think what's gonna tone down that color is I'm just gonna blitz a bit of black on it. Uh, I don't have any, <laughs> any other sandpaper other than 80, but the, uh, the uh, primer seemed to cover it up pretty good. So, oh, some people are gonna be upset I didn't pull that dent, but I don't have the means really to pull the dent. Not properly anyways. And there's no way you can get inside the door. See? The only way is like through up there. And I don't know how you're gonna poke and prod to get that thing out. Eh. It's character, it's there. No biggie. Anyways, I'm gonna let that flash for a bit and uh, then I'm gonna come back and we will blitz a really light coat of black on it and then we'll hit it with that blue that I got. Hopefully it blends in like really nice, I don't know. Here I just, that random blue I found in the cabinet, I threw some on here. I just wanted to see what it looked like. It looks like garbage, but uh, I won't have to use up so much blue paint, I think when it comes time to to hit this side so I'm really just gonna scuff it we're just gonna dust it in there's if this thing's had body work and this this tailgate's pretty buggered but we're gonna use it we're just gonna grab an old scuff pad scuff it down that is pretty much it it is what it is after that and uh, we'll spray some paint on it not a problem at least I don't think so It'll be fine for what it is. It's got a, I want it to look beat up like the rest of the truck. So it's kind of my plan or my thought. Ooh, wee, is there some Bondo in there, eh? <laughs> oh, I won't tear that off. It's begging to be peeled off though. And yeah, we'll knock a few of the loose flakes. Get all the dirt off of it. We'll get a coat of paint on her. I'll probably shoot it a light coat of black as well, just so it kind of matches with the other ones. I think that black makes this darken up, but you can see this, this panel's even been painted here by the looks of it. Some of this is like uh, kind of flaking off. So, meh. This thing's been, this thing's been fixed and touched up. It's all good. All right, I'm gonna go inside, have a cup of coffee, think about things and come out and we'll shoot some paint on her. Well, I think on film, this blue looks a lot better than it does in real life. I think that looks like a decent match, but it is like completely different. I'm hoping scuffing it up. No, it's still completely different blue. <laughs> I've scuffed this gate, but holy, like look at the difference in there. 
I don't know. Maybe it doesn't show on film, but it is like a completely different color. I don't know why it looks so good before. Anyways, I'm just going to rough it up a bit. We're just taking a scuff pad. We're kind of trying to shine it up with the rest of the truck here. So it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. And looks like it's always been there. At least that's my, my hope, my plan. But it definitely looks like I fixed it, but... Oh well, it'll wear in. I don't really want to burn through to the black or anything. I just thought the black would darken it a bit, but it seems to make it super, super light. And after it was all said and done, I realized I forgot to do the brow. So we kind of just quickly put some glass in there and shot a coat of paint. So that gets us really close to being able to uh, paint the inside. We got to do the bodywork inside yet. So I got to go find this one door hinge. I got to pickle this a few more times. We got to do the bodywork up into these corners. And then I can prime it and that's about all I can do. I would love to have it painted before I put the glass in. So we'll kind of put that off. I have, uh, I picked up that union so I can do that fuel line. So I'll probably do that while the truck's up. Some here, somewhere. I have a bag with a bunch of parts I just picked up. Just trying to make a stockpile of bits, brass bits and whatnot, but I got a union here that should work for the fuel system. So we'll put that in. Uh, I guess I'll look for that door hinge. We'll try to do that quick. Again, I gotta pickle it one more time before I go out. Man, it's a bummer with that paint that didn't match that well. Well, you're kind of limited with your trim clad colors without actually getting something matched. I guess whatever. Well, well, <laughs> yeah, it's crappy. Eh, whatever. Uh, we got our wheels, but I have no paint. But uh, maybe I'll wait till a little later in the evening when it's not so hot out. We got the AC in here, so it's nice and comfortable. But uh, would like to, I would like to get some paint on those wheels. I don't like those. Maybe I'll reuse the rubber, even though they're not, it's not, ah, I don't think I have any tires. Dang it, so I gotta get some rubber, some paint, before I can finish this. Uh, ah, whatever. Let's do whatever we can do right now, and then uh, we'll, uh, we'll see, we'll see where we're at. Well now, that just is not happening. I, uh, Put that in the sandblasting cabinet. I think I've been a half hour at it and that's about as good as I got. So, I guess we're just gonna wire brush it. I just don't think that that compressor has got the oomph to uh, keep up. And I'm not gonna keep trying and burn up that compressor trying to sandblast four wheels. Like it'd be, like that's only the inside. Like not even anything. <laughs> so, whatever. I am just gonna wire brush them. I don't have any paint yet, but I'm gonna wire brush them and they're just gonna be what they are. Ah, you can't, uh, we can't fight it. It is, it is what it is. I'm gonna check in the shed. I think I might still have some um, white walls, maybe. I don't know. If not, I just gotta find some, some used tires to throw on there. And uh, we should be back in action. Wow, not really. I gotta just do the bodywork inside of there. So seeing how it's really, really hot outside still, I'm gonna lower the truck down and we'll just start doing the bodywork inside. That one's not terrible. Um, we'll probably just give it a little schmooze, try to do a light sanding, hit some primer, and that's about all we can do right now till I get some paint for it. But it's not a terrible, it's pretty easy to do. That's all I'm gonna say. So I guess we'll tackle that quick and then, then hopefully it cools off this afternoon and or the evening and then I can kinda we can kind of burn into those things. Get them cleaned up at least, and then when I get some paint, I can uh, shoot some paint on them. And hopefully I find some tires at the same time.
When we got back from town, I managed to find one of these turbo cans. That should work good for wheels. I did find these ones, but I'm feeling the one turbo can will probably do all the wheels, but yeah, I don't know. Paint's expensive. I got two shades of gray because I took a photo of my interior and I don't know how that looked like gray in my photo. It's like brown. It's like nothing like these. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. So we still need to get some paint. I picked up a set of lights, tail lights, so I can redo the ones on here quick. Uh, but regardless, even though I don't have the right paint, we can uh, start doing the body work on the inside of the truck. That is going to be my plan for tonight. All right. Well, I can't daddle. I think Ryder's actually going to be by, so I am going to put him on grinder duty and get him to wire wheel all my, my wheels. See how good he can get those. And then we can spritz some paint on them. And then I just got to find rubber. That'd be easy, but I don't have. <laughs> Well, that went a lot better than I thought. So, we managed to do it in one coat. It's not perfect, but nothing is inside here. So, it's better than it was. We got uh, some primer on there. Paint, primer. I put a heavy coat. I'm going to do another coat or two. Just because there were some imperfections. And that side, the Bondo kind of screwed up. Well, I shouldn't say screwed up. It started getting hard on me, but it ended up I had enough. I unfortunately didn't think of getting a proper uh, a plastic squeegee because this is not very flexible. So I had to improvise so I can try to smear that on. Anyways, that's done. So I don't need any more of this. We are done with Bondo on this project. So Ryder's out. He is doing my wire wheeling my wheels. So he's giving her out there.
So he's cleaning all, he's cleaning all my wheels up so we can get some paint on them. That'll be the next step after that. Uh, somewhere here I have, I have a million uh, tire tube things, valve stems. Uh, Trucker Bob sent me a bunch, so we're gonna be, we'll stick those in. I'm still gonna find some tires. Might just find some cheap, cheap tires that we can use. I uh, have started mounting my English wheel. Well, I've made my, I got my bracket stabbed to the wall. I gotta clean up my English wheel. So we might hit that thing tonight yet or something, clean it up, uh, cut off any stuff we don't need on it, and uh, maybe get some paint on it. I don't know if that will happen tonight, but that's kind of the plan. Is to try to get that sucker working all back together and sitting on my wall. Doesn't need much. Just gotta cut a few little tabs off and then this thing just needs a, a huge, like just a, Another wire brush job. I feel like taking some of these rivets and some of these other things off. This is a front chunk of a uh, frame rail that uh, like a buddy of mine actually had just welded on to the back beam. So just tried to make it super extra rigid and did a really good job of that. Anyways, I'll let Ryder get back to his wire rushing. <laughs> Well, we got some paint on the wheels. Uh, that one, for some reason, we couldn't get it quite cleaned up and some of that red pigment's coming out. So I probably should have uh, primed it before. The rest of them is just, it's direct to metal paint. So I don't know, looks fine. We got a few bugs in there, but <laughs> not the end of the world is what it is, eh? It's usually what happens. Uh, that one, I don't know. Gonna get some more coats on it just to see if we can kind of get rid of that little bit of a red hue out of there because one of our rims was bent so I ended up just I had a car in the back Ryder and I took the wheel off of there and it was red but whatever we uh, we wire brushed it as good as we could but you well know, those things happen so I'll let it sit for another day or so and I'll give it another coat should get rid of that redness I guess you want to say but so as far as the truck goes, we got all of our lights working. We got the tail lights going. I was just having a problem with the brake lights, but they were easy to solve. It ended up being the switch in the truck had a little bit of problem, but so we got that going. I still got to get some screws and stuff for the deck here. And I want to find some better paint to match because this is terrible. I'd like to have that color match a little better and dump the gray and actually find whatever tan color this is that my interior is but other than that we got the uh the body work and stuff is all done inside we just got to scuff and shoot we did the body work up on the brow it's good enough uh something connected that fuel line i gotta switch out this uh hood latch yet because this one the spring is broken so the other hood latchy part doesn't actually work 
So we'll get that sorted out, get the glass in it. I'm hoping to get some wheels this weekend. That'd be awesome. And then we can call this truck done. I thought I'd have it all done this round, but well, you know what it is. Things take longer than they normally do. <laughs> Anyways, kind of just is what it is. But we did get a lot done. I feel like we did. Truck's looking good. We're almost done. Home stretch. Then I think the 54. I don't know where these videos are going to be because, like I said, Carl is coming out. If you haven't checked out, we do have a second channel where there's just a lot of little small updates and things we open to the stuff you folks send. Uh, it's called Half Ass Customs, the other half. Um, usually there's a link at the end or in the description we have a link as well. So if you don't know that we have that, we do have a second channel. Um, and yeah, so around this time, I'm hoping that this truck finished by the time Carl shows. We're going to, uh, the plan is anyways, we're going to fix some of my tools. Uh, I know that much. And we're probably going to bring in my coupe. So I'll kind of, yeah, we'll, we'll have a look at the coupe, see where it's at. What I want to do with Carl is uh, bring the coupe in and try to get the coupe to the state that it was before the fire, I guess would be to say. Because the rear trunk section is kind of messed up on it. Ah, you know what? Let me... Let's show you the coupe and then we'll kind of go from there. Anyways, there's the coupe. You've seen it in the past, like it's just when I dragged it out. It's still a bigger project. <laughs> it's a bit of a bigger project now because like now all the suspension has to be done. I'll probably have to figure out my steering again because that rack that I got custom made is like bunk. Uh, you know, things got warped and buggered up. It's not terrible. Like this door doesn't want to close well because it's like tweaked down. The other side's okay. So what I feel happened is some stuff fell on the trunk and kind of just mushed it over this way. So I'm hoping when Carl's out, we can kind of just straighten some stuff out. That's kind of my thought. That's what we're gonna do. Uh, over here, you can see how this panel's crinked and stuff, but I feel, I feel just gotta get pushed up. I don't know. I don't think it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's too bad. It's still good metal. We're going to see what happens. We're going to kind of put a ram in there. We're going to go push and prod and try to fix some stuff up. Um, like I say, th th this car, I'm going to still fix it. I'm basically waiting for when the shop is, uh, my new shop's up. And then this will be like the first big build in the shop. Basically finishing my first, this build. But yeah, I don't know. Things are screwed up, but no, like they're screwed up. <laughs> uh, whatever. We'll figure it out. I'm hoping Carl and I can kind of just get stuff roughly in the place where it should be. That's kind of what we're, we're shooting for. Again, I don't think it's bad. It's still better than what I started with. Uh, <laughs> but it's going to get fixed. Again, it's going to be a bigger project. It'll be in the new shop. But Carl's out. I feel like he can help me. We can try to get this thing straightened out. I want to try to bring the car, like I say, sort of, well, I want to fix the back of the car. Let's put it that way. Let's simplify that. This part back here, I just want to get it still back in shape and the roof kind of out. That's the goal. Get it there and get the trunk working again. Then I'll be happy. I'm pretty sure what happened was I have the body mounts here, here, and here, but the ones I talked about here and back here, I never made. So I think things sag till they hit the frame. So we just got to pull them back up so they work. So that's kind of where that's at. So anyways, that's where we're at with that. Uh, hopefully, like Carl and I will probably have a little bit of a work we'll do on there. Uh, we'll restore a few of my tools. I'm pretty sure that's the plan for the time that he's out. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And again, if you haven't seen our second channel and you want to see some more, it's uh, again, half-ass customs. Uh, sorry, more half-ass customs, the other half. And like I say, Carl's coming out. So if you haven't seen uh, what he does, check out uh, Carl at uh, Make It Customs. I'll put some links up here or some pictures so you know guys know what to look up. Anyways, as always, folks, I want to thank you all for watching. And uh, we will catch you on the next one. Later.